What's up everyone? We're here in St. Joseph, Missouri. Uh, we got these coils. Supposedly there's a, an appointment, <laughs> but Prime didn't give me one. So what I did is park in front of their bay. I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m., untarp it. I'm gonna take off one strap because they require you to put one at least on this load to go in. And we're just gonna play stupid. And if they say anything, I'm gonna be like, what appointment, never been here. But we all know I've been here three or four times. So uh, worst case, worst case they could do is tell me to get the F out of here until I have an appointment. But I don't see the issue. So I'm hoping there isn't gonna be one. But worst case scenario is they'll tell me to come back like Tuesday and I'll just go to my aunt's house and do a 34. So I'm not really tripping, but they want their shit, they're gonna take it because they really need it. They take a lot of coils here. So uh, tarp did really well, as you guys can see. I'm a master tarper at coils. So uh, never have an issue with these. But um, I saw my aunt and went to get some dinner in St. Joseph. And I got some of my Christmas gifts because I missed out on Christmas. So got up on those Christmas gifts. So love coming here because I can go right to my aunt's house and get some dinner. So. I'm gonna go to bed since I didn't sleep that much last night and uh, with the time forward and then um, wake about five o'clock in the morning, get on tarp and just play stupid. So I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm going to everyone we're here in Centralia Missouri uh, we're going to Hubbard power systems I think is what's called uh, my buddy Mike said I've been here before but I don't remember ever coming here uh, we're headed to Tucson Arizona uh, we're gonna get this dropped off by Wednesday and we should have a really good week in pay uh, for the week so uh, gonna be bad on hours as you know I got I came out on Friday so I only have about 40 hours to drive for the next five days uh, so when we get to Tucson I'm gonna ask for a short load and then a weekend load like on Thursday and then shut down Friday and do a 34 on Friday again I don't know it's gonna be really really tight People say, oh, do your eight hours, but it's gonna be tough because we're heading to a weekend. We're not reefer. So a lot of places are closed Saturday and Sundays. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I did get a load out of uh, St. Joseph, but it wasn't delivered till Wednesday. And I actually thought it was gonna be a really good load because uh, I stayed a night at Blue Scope. So I, were, I was already in 12 hours of off duty and all I needed was another 20 hours. And I was hoping to get a load out of there and roll out like Tuesday morning and get my 34 rest in. But that load was not even ready and was not due till Wednesday. So it didn't make sense to take a load that was going 300 miles on Tuesday and then shut down early and then wait till Wednesday morning. So uh, I was hoping to get a blue scope for Tuesday afternoon delivery so I can get my 34 in, still run five hours, and get another load. But nothing was available, so I guess we're gonna have to take this load and just start winging it in the next couple days after that, so we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, I've been here, okay, I know this place. <laughs> I do remember, okay. Uh, Hubble power supplies. Yeah, 
have been here. I didn't save it, I guess. And then I turned here and I got loaded. Okay, I don't know. Shipping out was right there by 10 or 11, I think. Yeah, I remember you. See if you're not. Uh, yeah. I've been here before. I'm wondering if I did a YouTube video on this thing now. Cause I want to see what I got. But we'll see. I, um, so we got, we went to the receiving office and then I went towards the back. Yeah, I remember this place. Yeah, and, and you load back here. And you back in. Ah, no, where we're at. This is cool. All right, you guys. This is the load. So that was gonna have a nice even, but put this on top. Ah, big deal. So what I'm gonna do is this has to be tarped, not this. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use my baby tarp. The six foot drop will work perfect for that. And I'll go 14 feet long. So this is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So I'll drop right down here. And then I'll put my uh, black steel tarp right here. And it should work out fine. Uh, these things, so cold here, dude. <laughs> I'm so over winter right now. It's like 27 degrees but it feels like 10. If it doesn't, if it's not windy, I'm okay. But the wind is killing me. Uh, so you guys look at this. You'll see um, the weight. I saw it earlier. Where is it? I think it's like a thousand something. I saw one of these tags. Oh, right here. Thousand six. Same thing here. This is about a thousand six. So you guys look at there's three stacks. So that's three thousand four thousand four hundred. If I did the math right. Uh 16, 30, 4,800 pounds. So and then you times it by two because there's on the other side. So all in all it's about ten thousand. Only need two straps. So going that way. And we're gonna do three. This will twist. Okay. This one. Okay. Do one. I had to bust out my gloves. <laughs> cold. Okay, so we'll do a steak pocket right here. Could put. I'll do it right there. This is the 48s I like. You put a strap through here. If you guys notice, a lot of the older ones, they're together and you can't. So I like this idea. front Got enough straps on it. Then okay. okay. put so this one. Uh, that's why I tell you guys also too is stay out outside the truck when they're loading you, because if you just sat in your truck and didn't realize, 
that he was gonna put this on top, then you would have to feed the bellies yourself. So I'm always, always watching what they're doing and question, like, or he could have put this in the middle, but you want more of the weight on the drives because it's not gonna be that heavy of a load. So this was the frozen one. Where is it? Come on, baby. Not sharp. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Might learn my lesson. We'll see. It doesn't look like pallets usually don't rip my tarps. <sighs> okay. It goes. These are pretty cool little strap things. Hopefully it'll be perfect. Yes. There we go. It's perfect. See what I can do. It's gonna overlap it just a little. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to tuck this like right over this. If it works out, it's gonna be perfect. Okay. So you can see we have a lip right here. Okay, I think it's gonna be perfect. I love when it's perfect. Yeah. I don't like taking the tarp and trying to lift it up. Just one, just like this. Oh, that's money. That is money. Okay. So I do. Okay. So I'm gonna put this all the way to the back. And whatever is left over, we do it in the back there. So I want this as tight, as close to the board as we can. Okay. okay. Happy about that. This is why I have a 14 foot tarp. A lot of you guys will have the big steel tarp or Eight foot drop. <laughs> this works perfect. Okay. This up. What do is take. here okay. 
do is close the back. Make this tight again. Usually I tell people, oh, I guess we still can do it. Oh. Oh, I guess so. Okay, so take this. I always teach you guys, hook it in here, bring it back, and hook it here. Okay. Same thing here. Like this. Pop it under, make sure you get the middle. Stretch it out, make sure it's nice. Again, go around this spool, bring it across, and find that flat. All right, where is it? Right there. I do. Got an idea. I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna hook it. Grab this. 
There we go. See that? See this bungee? Grab it. Put it down. Inside. So you see this, it's not all the way down here. You can't put it there or you can put it here. Hold on. Okay, then I'll take this. Pull this up. I like to make an X on this. Come on, baby. side I like to do is put this in there just pulls it down stretch it okay. back down
sure no water gets in here. Let's do it. This thing is all fucked up. Put this under. Okay, so that's gonna cover that. We'll just get this. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Alma, Alma Gordo, New Mexico. Our load's doing pretty good, as you guys can see. Uh, I was a little worried about those little crates. They're not the best crates, they're kind of cheap, but uh, don't crank down too hard on them. Uh, we're only about five hours and 40 minutes away from uh, Tucson, Arizona. It's about five o'clock here. So by the time we get to Tucson's an hour back since we went spring forward. So now Arizona's on West Coast time, not on uh, mountain time. So we should be able to get there by 10 o'clock. Um, and hopefully there's a load. Um, as you guys know, Phoenix is pretty bad. So I'm hoping to untarp this, unstrap it, then put my D part in. Hopefully there's a pretty good load. I only got like 20 hours left and it's a Wednesday. So uh, I'm not looking good on hours, but we'll see. Hopefully we can make something happen and not get screwed for the weekend. So, see you guys on the next video.